We are here with one of our favorite people, Josh Stein, the founder and CEO of AdhereTech, health transformer extraordinaire. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me, Unity. It's great to, great to see you. Um, so let's just start the conversation so everybody awesome. knows what AdhereTech is and, and the solution you're solving for the world. As you know, we make patient support programs for patients on specialty medications, and these programs are all driven by our smart pill bottles. What that essentially means is if you're a patient, you can get your specialty medication from the specialty pharmacy instead of in an amber vial or regular pill bottle in one of our bottles. Free for the patient, free for the pharmacy, and sponsored by pharma. And there's a bunch of services that we provide to the patient, all driven by this bottle, that help the patient stay on the medication longer and have improved adherence. I guess the two biggest values to the patient are A, simple reminders if doses are missed. So only if you miss a reminder, you'll get a text message or phone call. And then if you need additional care, there's a lot of back-end analysis that our system does on your adherence rate. So our system can either automatically reach out to you, the patient, and if you need care, route that to the pharmacy, or send the pharmacy an alert so they can reach out to the patient. And does the patient have to do any work, or is it kind of a seamless uh, experience or invisible experience for the patient? Yeah, so one of our core philosophies is a product has to be so, so simple in order for someone to use it. So a few of the ways we do that is if you're a patient, you literally get this bottle and it works right out of the box. Mm. There is no setup at all. Just to give an example, um, our average user is in their 70s and a quarter of them don't even own a cell phone. So in order to get them to use something that's you know, an electronic device, it has to be so simple and seamless. And that's exactly what we've done. So it's a, it's a beautiful, simple-looking bottle, but I know there's a lot of extraordinary innovation and technology that goes behind that. You want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. So you're absolutely right. The bottle looks simple, and it really is to use. The real value is in the data that the bottle sends to Adhere Tech system and how Adhere Tech system analyzes that data and then sends interventions to the patients. So if you're a patient, you literally use this just like a regular bottle. Hmm. Nothing new at all. Our system automatically analyzes your adherence patterns, or sometimes lack thereof, and then delivers targeted interventions to the patient in real time as they need it. So it's all about the software data analysis and backend. Even though we make a hardware product, we really consider ourselves a software and services company. Well over half of our headcount as a company is software. And you're, you're really such an extraordinary success story as, as an entrepreneur and, and uh, how you've been growing. Um, you've got a lot of traction. Talk about maybe some of your partners that you can, I know there's some you can't talk about, but maybe some that you can share. Yeah, so uh, basically, Adhere Tech's history, you know, it was many years of R&D. And since 2015, the bottle has been commercialized and we've been growing pretty sharply ever since then. So today, we work with a number of top pharma companies for many of, you know, the biggest specialty meds on the planet. And we're distributed from virtually every major specialty pharmacy. Talk about the progress that's being made. What are you, what are you most hopeful um, about um, as you think about where the market is today compared to, say, five years ago? Yeah, so we've been, the company was founded in 2011, so we've been around for, you know, approaching seven years. So we've actually seen the landscape totally change from when we first started to today. The biggest one is that, or the biggest change is that um, big healthcare companies, which are typically slower to adopt technology solutions compared to maybe other industries, have really begun to uh, put their money where their mouth is and really understand and with proper valuation and piloting, of course, but understand which technologies can help patients and then actually invest in those technologies to help patients. What would your advice be maybe to entrepreneurs just starting out? Think back to where you were seven years ago and just had the idea and, and getting started on your R&D. What would your, your wisdom and advice be to those, those folks? Yeah, definitely. So I'd say two main pieces of advice. Number one, uh, persistence is key. So uh, that doesn't mean necessarily every idea is worth pursuing all the way to its logical end. You have to do a lot of vetting, share your idea with smart people, but there will be sort of tough roads and long roads ahead, especially if you're in healthcare because of the long R&D and piloting phase. You must be persistent and you must keep your eye on the bigger picture. Number two, hire the best people. So you have to absolutely, this 
probably even more important than the persistence, you have to work with and hire the best people on your team. Now, the definition of, quote, best people may be different for different roles and different types of companies, but oftentimes that means, you know, someone has to be mission-focused, smart, reliable, hardworking, uh, be able to think for themselves, uh, but you have to hire the best. Persistence and people. I love it. Definitely. Um, so, um, what are you most excited about? So, uh, for us, I'd say we are most excited about actually proving ourselves to more and more of these large companies. So, virtually every large company that uses us starts off in some evaluation phase. Now, you know, it's getting shorter and shorter as we work with more and more companies. But um, pretty soon, it's like if you're not already working with you, they're the ones losing out because all their competitors are and, and seeing great results. When uh, we explain what the results are before we work with someone, you know, someone, it's not as powerful as when, you, when they see it themselves for their patients, for their own drug. So the more and more times we get to do that with larger companies, that's the most exciting part for us. So you mentioned data. Um, what, br bring that into to reality. What, what kind of data opens up? Uh, what data world are you opening up for, for your partners? Yeah, so... Or, or for patients, really. Yeah, so um, I guess the way we think about it is if you think about every large uh, tech company out there, they know so much information about their users. You know, they know your shopping habits down to a T. Now, in healthcare, there are silos of information for good reason, for patient protection. But then there are also ways that you can deliver information to different parties as long as you obey all HIPAA and privacy laws, et cetera. But one of the great things that we're doing for our clients is we're now giving them de-identified, aggregated information about their users and you know how they use the medication, why they stop using the medication, why they go back on the medication, all information that was literally never possible to collect before at HearTech. So the value to the healthcare company is now they know more about their users. The value to the patient themselves is if they're experiencing an issue, chances are a patient before them had experienced a similar issue. Mm -hmm. So we're using technology and development to understand when issues typically arise in the patient journey and then develop tools to consistently improve that. So, you know, the patient that starts using it tomorrow will have benefited from the learnings that we've gotten from patients in the past. Well, Josh, it's, it's so exciting, as I mentioned, to see your progress and see how Thanks. quickly you guys are, are really growing and commercializing and all the great partners you're working with today. Um, where can people go to learn uh, more about AdhereTech? Yeah, I'd say I would just direct people to our website, adheretech.com. And then uh, there'll be plenty of links and contact information there. And we'll put uh, links in the show notes. So thank you so much for what you're doing and, and the innovation you guys are bringing to the world. Yeah, thank you for the support as well.